What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the PO Lifestyle game YouTube channel. I know I always say gaming. Brain lets go sometimes, but th this is episode two. We got the ego up from last time. We started with 20. We went up 10 to 30 just because I didn't know what it was going to be like. In the first game, we went a complete shutout with... Um, where am I at here? Wait, attempt 69. Uh, full nine innings. All right, here we go. Full nine, giving up five hits, no walks, with a 167 batting average against. Today, Flint Wallace will be on the mound as we face 2 and 0 Buzzards in game two. But today, we are going to... Put... Nick up there first. Same order. Except Nick's going to be at the top of the order. Actually, I think my dad's seven hole. Why is it paying attention to that? Nope, my dad's a hill. Okay. So we got Nick leading off to so Bradley Cooper. There we go. Strike one. Oh my god. My dad gives up a triple. Nope, just a double. Thankfully. There's nobody out either. First and second now. Nobody out. Pressure is high. And we get a double play. This time we are the home team. As we get strike one. Going for strike two here. A diving stop by Chaz over to Zach. Gets a third out of the inning and saves Flint from giving up a run. All right, we got Nick coming up to the plate. And he goes yard. No way. Does he do it? First pitch of the game. Yes, he does. 460 on the dot right here. 10 feet off. 470. Almost out of the ballpark. As we leave one to nothing, bringing up Gavin Gibbs sitting 571 on the year. Who will be now hitting a little bit higher with a single this game already. Looks like 30 might be a little too low as Tubin Jones comes up to the plate. And watch his strike one go by him. And he watches his ball one go right by him. One one count. And that's going to be strike two. I knew I should have swung. And that's going to get through. Get to second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Out of boy, Gavin. All right, Gunner. Tell us what you're made of. Or don't. It's okay. You don't have to. This brings up Chaz hitting 571 on the year. Watching ball one in the dirt. And hitting what should have been ball two. Straight to the left fielder. Here on pitch number one to Carson Hart as he watches ball one go by him. And there's strike one. I thought that could have been a ball. Makes an air. Can he still get there? Dude's so slow, he can't. Come on. As we head into the top of the second, I want y'all guys to go down in the comment section below and let me know what y'all's favorite song is and who it is by. I'm trying to add some bangers to the uh, playlist. Yeah, I want y'all to do 
Two things. I want you to comment your favorite song so I can add it to my regular playlist and who it's by. And then add something I should put in my gym playlist. As we get the third out, with the little brown ball dribbler to Carson Hart behind the plate. She's gonna grab her poo tang and throw the pitch. Shouldn't have done that, stupid! We're on the bases, baby! 475. 463. Had a boy, and that was Zach Johnson. Here goes power hitting Flint Wallace up to the plate. As he watches the ball strike one, basically down the ding dong. And he crushes, but lines out pitch number two to the left fielder. They have nine hole Bradley Cooper. The reason why I got Bradley hitting is because uh, nine hole is because my dad had my power, but he doesn't have um, any speed or contact. And so with Bradley Cooper's power, I was hoping to drive him in, but they both get out. Bringing up leadoff batter for this game, Nick Cortez. And we'll probably do the same thing with my mom when she comes out to pitch next game. Boom, strike one. And on pitch number two, we get to fly out to Nick Cortez out there with his speed. Now we're going to be facing the pitcher here. And we're going to get strike one on her with a change of it looks like. Now we're going to go inside to the two seam, trying to get some thumbs to come off. And we're going to attack with the screwball. Give me a thumbs. Oh, it's whiff. I'll take that. All right, here we go. Almost back to him. But Gavin's going to get the ground ball and get out number three. And here comes Gavin. Up to play after getting the final out of the top of the third. To become the first out of the bottom of the third. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Because I believe that was Chaz that just hit that. No, Tobin! Sorry, I, I'm already messing up my own batting order. He's after, Chaz is after Gunner. She watches ball line and we lead three to nothing. And a line out. Great contact, good contact, good hit. Then now Chaz comes up to the plate. If I'm too loud, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm just trying to have some energy, have some fun. And Chaz? Chaz pulls out a double out of his back pocket. Bring up Carson Hart. I'm gonna watch strike one. Ah, put him in ball one, ball one, ball one, but now it's two strikes. All right, we're good. First and third. Bring up Zach. And another line out to the left field. Left fielder's got a ball magnet in his glove. He is cheating as Flint does the first pitch to Ger Geronimo James for strike one. Then we're going to throw back-to-back -back strikes. And then we're going to go high cheese for strike out and out number one. Joseph Trunk's gonna get some thumbs sawed off right here. It's gonna go all inside. It's gonna hit down foul. Cut fastball might hit him. Oh, sword. All right, let's go. This brings up Mario Mustachio. Mustachio? I'm gonna assume, because it's two C's. I don't think it's, it could be Mustachio, but I don't think it's Mustachio. There's no H. Alright. We're gonna go slider. And then we're gonna go high end fastball with some high cheese. 93. Another strike out. Alright, here comes my dad. Eight hole. And he's out. I was unable to try out Bradley Cooper with a runner on, but we're gonna take that single up the middle. 
It's gonna bring up our speedy power hitter Nick Cortez. It's gonna ground out and they're gonna end the inning. Flint's got 29 pitches, four strikeouts, and one hit on the day today as a pitcher. And the right fielder, Yoshida, is going to watch that one, but then swing at that one. And then he's going to whiff at this one. No, he's going to watch that one. But then we're going to we're gonna bury a curveball. Just get it out the zone. So we're going to bury a, a four. Oh, we're not burying that. Oh, we did bury it. Strike three, doesn't matter. Whiff. See you later. Sword. All right. Borg. Vorgnar is coming up. Blackout Rage Gallon. But we're going to get the ground out unassisted for out number two over to Zat. As we're going to throw to Ofden. We need to throw it inside twice. Has more speed than power and contact. So I feel like I don't have to worry about him that much when it comes to hitting the ball. So we're gonna know that doesn't backfire and it doesn't. All right, here comes our two hole, Kevin. What a play. These guys are making good plays. Can't even get mad about that. And there's another ground out. Just getting lucky right now. There we go. Single up the middle for Gunner. Bringing up Chaz now to the plate. With two outs. He's going to get a pitch inside, which gets by the shortstop. And all the way into the outfield for another single. Now we got first and second, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Bring up Carson Hart, our catcher. He's going to watch ball one. Here's the next pitch. Probably shouldn't have swung, but that's all right. Let's see if we can flint some more Ks this game. So there's a whiff. Another one. I'm going to go low inside. Four seam at 93. Absolute cheese. All right. Oh, no. Chaz made an error. What are you doing? Fumbling the bag out there, but I don't have anybody to substitute him for. Get that into the cutoff. Chaz, what are you doing? Come on. I don't have anybody good to substitute him for. All of them are out of position, so we can't. Come on, Chaz. Got to, got to make it up on offense now. That's, that's two errors that could have costed this game. Please catch this. Thank you. Making up for it a little bit on defense. I just got seven, eight, nine. Zach Flint, Bradley Cooper. Zach's gonna get one down for a single. Falling right at the feet of their center fielder. Here comes Flint. 0 for 2 already on the air. Not the best, but he's gonna get a single. Now we can try out our nine hole weapon, Bradley Cooper. Alright. Fall up. Oh, it's early. Ball two, two one count, no outs, bottom of the six. Ball three, if we get bases loaded right here, that'd be awesome. Or not, that ball's gone. This is exactly why I put him down in the nine hole this game. At almost 500 feet, absolutely killed that ball. Probably had somebody in the stands in the head. Brings up power hitting Nick Cortez as he watches a ball. And that's strike one. 
So that's gonna get down in the gap. That's like the right, right center gap. Bring up Gavin. With no outs with the runner in scoring position. Can do damage here, which would be perfect for us to try and be the only team that's undefeated as he puts up a bomb. So he'll be going up to 40 ego this next game. 420. 439. And if y'all are wondering why you keep seeing a headband in my streams and in my uh, videos, it's because I like having my hair long. It's not like super, super long. If y'all can tell, if you get the single, but the top's decently long. It just gets in my face and over my ears and it gets uncomfortable. So. Gavin comes up, Gunner comes up, sorry. Right after his brother, or is that Tobin? Tobin, sorry, comes up after Tobin. Infield fly. Oh, it's to the pitcher. Which is embarrassing for Chaz. That's okay, because our catcher, Parson, will get us a single, loading the bases for Zach. And here's the pitch to Zach. That's going to be a ball for ball one. Set him on now. Curveball. Strike. Yeah, that's a strike. Oh, my God. Another strike. All right, come on. Don't choke. Don't choke, Cage. Don't choke. Come on, let's go. And that ball's gone. Almost out of the park. We're going to say 490. 497. That's two 497s this game. As he clears the bases. Here comes Flint, one for three this game. That one's gonna be off the wall. We're gonna test it, and they're gonna go ahead and throw it to the cutoff. First extra base hit of the year for Flint, bringing up power hitter nine hole Bradley Cooper. Gonna watch ball one low and inside. It's gonna be a strike. Good pitch right on the edge of the plate. It's gonna be strike two. Another great spotting by Candy Sweet. Ooh, that was close. Ball two. And Flint's gonna get back, and it's gonna be a fielder's choice. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna award Bradley with the single as Nick comes up facing me commonly. I just didn't watch ball one and ball two outside and in the dirt. And, oh yeah. And we're gonna try and get Nick to third and he gets in the third safely, clearing the bases, putting us up 14 to nothing. Our first game, we scored 31, 31 runs on 14 bombs and 36 hits. So we only had five regular hits that game. This one's gonna be caught though. Putting up 11 after going the first, second, third inning with one runs. Then they put up two zeros in the fourth and the fifth. And then the sixth inning, we put in a great 12 spot. Or 11 spot, sorry. And we're gonna get a gallon ball to Gavin with that short who fires it over to Zach. Trying. 92 up and in on the hands and got some thumbs on that, but he did hit that pretty hard, so I guess he still has his thumbs. Fell back, so we're gonna go low fastball. Oh my god, he may still made that. Let's go. I messed it up. Yoshida. For the buzzards coming up, 0 for 2 this game. Flint stamina is getting pretty low. His velo, accuracy, and junk are all starting to go down a little bit. But it doesn't matter because he's going to throw 91 right by him for the third out. Not counting this bottom half of the inning, he's we have one and a half innings left 
of game two of this series and season. He's gonna gonna do go the extra mile, and it looks like he is. Four twenty-five. I had 430 or 425. I'd study at 425. I didn't think it's that far. Doing this 15 nothing lead. Tobin or Chaz. Tobin, I don't know who you are, but we'll take the double. Let's go. That does look like that's going to be Chaz. Bringing up Carson Hart. Oh, that one, that one out. 420. I guessed it. First one of the series. Let's go. We're absolutely dominating right now. Nate Conley is just not doing so hot for the buzzers. He was part of the 12 run. He was one of the... He was one of the main keys in the 12 runs given up earlier in the inning. And an error off the shortstop gives us another single for the inning. This game does not count errors. But if I were to keep the stats legitimately, that would have been an error. And that's a mind drive, so I guess he gets his out back anyways. Bring up Nick Cortez, run off first two outs. 17 nil lead. There we go. And two outs. We're going to send them both home. That's going to be caught. Probably at the warning track. Oh, no. Off the wall. There you go. Bring up Gavin. Two for five this game. Not a very impressive day. But he's going to say, screw you. Screw my two for five. We're going to go three for six with the bomb at 4.08. Bring up Tobin Jones. Hard contact, but foul. And a little early on that one. Ball one, one, two. And a decently hit ball up the middle. Just getting past the pitcher's glove. <clears throat> Bring up Gunner now. Gunner getting on base could be clutch. As we do have Chaz and Carson Hart coming up after him in the order. Either one of these guys can do some absolute massive damage. So we're going to see what Chaz can do this game. I mean this at bat. Ball one outside. Ah, oh, it was early. Put that right to the second base from out number three. All right, Flint Scott. <clears throat> this inning and next inning to try and beat or tie uh, a, a 69's um, strikeouts for the year to take the lead as the team strikeout leader. So. But it, I don't know if it's going to happen. We're not getting many strikeouts right now. There we go, another strikeout in the inning. Me Combs got a 13.50 ERA, uh, giving up nine hits, 29 pitches. No punchies against us this game. As Baldwin's in the dirt to Carson Hart. And that's going to be a double for Carson Hart as well. Let's go. We're absolutely crushing this game right now. All right, <clears throat> quick swig before I take this at bat with Zach as he watches ball one outside. And ball one up, ball two up, sorry. And a smack of Rue right to the center fielder. I 
as they bring in Sebastian Moro to face Flint Wallace. Not going to do anything, even though it did hit off the pitcher. In this game, they cannot get injured, but in Super Mega Baseball 3, they can. It's because I used to have it because I had Game Pass. But we got Bradley Cooper, 2-1 count, the ball, 5 ball. Out the ballpark. 5-15. 5-15. Come on. Oh, 5 9 Around my circle. Sit back for a second. As we got Nick Cortez coming up to play. Watching ball one low. Ball two inside. And the first strike he sees, he pulls the he pulls the other way. No, not he pulls it down the line. If he hits it, if he hits it oppo, it's hit the other way. An error that's gonna caught co might cost the buzzer to run, and it does as Nick gets around the bases safely, bringing up Tobin Jones. The two outs, looking for a clutch hit. Looking for something to boost the average, and he does. Bring up Gunner Gibbs now. Off the pitcher's dome, but again, they don't get hurt. But it don't matter, because he's going to beat it out anyways. All right, Chaz, coming up in a big situation where the pressure is high. Ball one inside. Ball two inside. Ball three outside. Will he walk in the run? No, but he gets a hit. And he's going to get a double. Scores at least two. We're going to send whoever was on third, on, on whatever base that was, first base home. I forgot. Let's lean back. But that's going to be a base clearing double. Bring up Carson Hart. Run it on first. 26 nil. Two outs. Bottom eight. Setting insult to the injury as we shoot down all the buzzards we see. And that's gonna get down. RBI single. Gonna whip out a. Inside. And that's gone. Four seventy five. Four ninety one. Flint watches that one. And he watches that. Oh, wow. It's a pretty decent pitch, but he's going to hit that one the other way for a single. Bradley Cooper's up. Oh my god, more errors being committed. Flint slow, so I'm not even gonna dare trying to advance. Bring up Nick Cortez. Whose power has an increase with the uh, situation. Just feeling confident with that pressure up. Oh, two count. We're gonna go ahead and swing at anything. We're gonna try and get Bradley Cooper to score. Yep, he will score indeed. Let's go. 31 to nothing. We're going to be... Not going to be fair. It is. And I'm be... Oh, I'm not going to get thrown out. Good hit. And there goes Flint into the ninth inning. Trying to complete the shutout. 
Trying to complete the sh blowout shutout. And it looks like he's going to give up a bomb. Oh, he doesn't give up a bomb. He gives up a double. Uh... Oh, he's safe at third. All right, we gotta be careful. This guy's got some good hitting attributes on him. And it shouldn't matter, because he gets there on the three one ground out, and the Sirloins take the Buzzards. Silver Wings <clears throat> with the 32 to 0 win. 66 at bats, 32 runs, 42 hits, 11 bombs, and of course, 32 RBIs to go along with those runs. Flint Boss goes nine, giving up three hits, nine strikeouts, and gets his first win of the year. Our top three is Nick Cortez, six for eight, Zach Johnson, four for seven, and Gavin Gibbs going to a shocking five for eight after struggling a little bit at the beginning of the game. Now, Sorry guys, I was writing some down, I just remembered that it. And we're gonna go ahead and simulate. Buzzards are still gonna be in first place technically because they got more wins, but we're just gonna watch this go down, see what happens here. Oh wow, there are only two games. So the Buzzards remain in first place as they did not play, but the Plot Pie come up in second place. And the wide loads lose another game to what was the 0-2 overdogs for now 1-2. Let's go ahead and check out the, the stats. We're going to go league leaders. Carson Hart's leading the lead in batting average. we got 10 people up there. Zach's leading the league in home runs as well as in RBIs. On base percentage, Gunnar Gibbs. Slugging percentage, Zach. On base and slugging, Zach as well. Carson Hart with the hits. Nick Cortez with extra base hits. Of course, we have not struck out, so that's good. Nick, Carson Hart, and Zach are all tied with eight. And then Bradley, Gavin, Gunner, and Tobin are all tied with seven for runs scored. We had no stolen bases, no caught stealings. Wins, obviously got Flint and 69 up on there. ERA, Flint and uh, uh, 69 up there. Flint and attempt up there for a whip as well as opponent batting average as well as strikeouts Flint fell three short of getting pulling ahead of attempt Flint is not on the K per nine because it's so low um, we got walks per nine zero for Flint and attempt on there strikeout walk ratio also up there uh, I mean, such an elite start to the season, and obviously we are going to do this together. We are going to go up 10 more difficulty points, and we're going to resume, obviously. We are now 2-0 on the year. We will be playing the Wild Pigs for 1-1 one and, one and are a game behind us. I hope you guys, and I don't know why I'm looking over there. That's where everything's recording. Y'all are right there. I hope you guys really... Did enjoy this episode another blowout going up some more difficulty hopefully we keep getting better uh, again like if you like the video you don't have to you can do whatever you want subscribe if you think this con you enjoy this content and you think that you might enjoy other content that is coming to the channel or is already on the channel depends on how I upload everything and if you would like put down in the comment section below any tips feedback suggestions or anything like that um, obviously willing to listen to the audience so I can become a better content creator. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys when we play the Wild Picks in Game 3.